The last survivor of the original rifle squad at Fort Snelling was laid to rest today. World War II Navy veteran Charles Corlath recently received the Presidential Citizens Award for more than 40 years of service as a member of the rifle squad. WCCO's Reg Chapman was at Fort Snelling as his life and service to comrades was honored. This is how Navy veteran Charles Corlath started every Friday for 40 years. It's good, now, now you're able to slip it in honoring a comrade with a proper burial at Fort Snelling's National Cemetery as an original member of the Friday Rifle Squad. For this Friday's honor goes to Corlath, a military and fire service veteran. Members of St. Paul's Fire Department stood watch as family and friends gathered to celebrate Corlath's life, all with incredible memories of the man, his mission, and his love for country and community. Charles Corlath grew up on West 7th Street in St. Paul and enlisted in the U.S. Navy at the age of 17. He served in a troop transport ship in 1944 during World War II and supported the Pacific Theater. After returning an honorable discharge in 1948, Corlath returned home to serve as a member of the St. Paul Fire Department for 30 years. I'm the, I'm the guy that you're here to honor me. Oh, no. The honor is all of ours, and we, oh, we are in forever in debt to you and your service to our country and to our community. We were with him just one month ago when he received the Presidential Citizens Award. A 21-gun salute to the man who helped start the Friday Rifle Squad because he saw too many veterans being buried without a proper send-off. Corlath and his fellow World War II veterans built their lives believing in something bigger than themselves. On this last Friday, it's the Honor Guard's chance to give back to the man who dedicated his life to honoring his comrades. One by one, they saluted him, acknowledging a mission completed, job well done. At Fort Snelling National Cemetery, Reg Chapman, WCCO, 4 News. Corlath gave the American flag to more than 22,000 families during his 40 years with the Rifle Guard. If you include his memorial today, the Fort Snelling Honor Rifle Guard have been of service to 83,400 military families.